Well, good afternoon, Mesa. This is Bob Nelson with the Mesa Chamber of Commerce, and you are listening to the Inside Business Mesa Chamber podcast, sponsored by Tennyson Investments. And today, this being like our first sort of official show, show 001, we actually have a very special guest with us today. Please welcome with me uh, Mark Donegan. He's the president of SEO Ranker Agency. Mark is a 20-year veteran of business and sales development, including traditional and digital marketing. His company, SEO Ranker Agency, was founded to help local business owners improve their customer flow and sales pipeline using free traffic from Google to their websites. With a formal education in computer science and music, Mark brings a unique perspective to online marketing and sales development. He's consulted and worked for companies of all sizes, including one that eventually was sold to Google and another that was sold to Walmart. As Google has made rapid advancements in the area of artificial intelligence, SEO Ranker Agency recognized a need to combine traffic content and website conversion optimization into an easy to buy service for local businesses. This innovative solution is called the SEO Ranker Brand Authority Service and it carries with it the ability to improve website traffic by up to three times or more. SEO Ranker Agency is more than a digital marketing agency. They are a profit creation engine for small businesses looking to better compete in their local market. Thanks very much for joining us today, Mark. Hey, it's great to be here. Thanks, Bob. Fantastic. I, I'm just going to kind of kick off here because, you know, the letters SEO, that's a big bad word salad. People yeah. like tuning out. They're like, oh, my God, everybody talks about this SEO. What is SEO? Hey, that's a, it's a great question. And yes, SEO, um, search engine optimization. That's what it stands for, SEO. Uh, really, you know, the essence of it is, is that if you um, do any business on the internet, uh, whether that is an, you know, on one extreme would be an e-commerce store where your business is 100% driven based on someone finding you, um, or if you're, uh, you know, a, a local business with a storefront, so more traditional, maybe a professional service. Consumers today are looking uh, for goods and services, particularly local goods and services, by picking up their phone. In fact, uh, amazing statistic that probably anecdotally will ring true. Uh, 80%, so 8 out of 10 consumers who are looking for local goods and services start in a browser. Google happens to own about 80% of the search traffic. There's Yahoo, there's Bing, but you know you can really just sort of say Google, which means that if you're not visible on Google, you may have a premium storefront location. You may be even in a high traffic, you know, great location. And if you're wondering why your business is starting to fall off, it's not because no one's driving past your store anymore. It's still premium location, a lot of traffic. Maybe the footfall out front is even improving, but the consumer is no longer just relying on driving down the street looking for, um, you know, a good or service that you may provide. So, I mean, I think buried in that a little bit is the the stat that about eight out of 10 uh, searches are done through Google. So that's right. That kind of makes Google uh, a bit of a critical element. That's right. Regardless of whether your business is exclusively online or, or even just physical. So as a small business owner, like what are, what are you to do? Like you're sitting there and you've opened your store and you're waiting for that first customer and you're kind of thinking, okay, wh what do I do so that people know, hey, this store is open, here it is, and I'm going to get there? That's right. It's the challenge of advertising and marketing, right? So, you know, we're all, I mean, of course, I'm a small business owner myself. So we're excited. We, uh, you know, we open the store and, you know, there's a big grand opening banner. And then you're wondering, where is everybody? <laughs> and then it's like, okay, we, we need to market. We need to advertise. We need to tell people what we do. Um, really, uh, you know, when it comes to online, uh, there are, uh, th there's a couple of real critical elements. Um, one is, is that there's a lot of focus on what a website looks like. And so, uh, uh we're not in the web design business and, uh, you know, sometimes that shocks people because they sort of assume, well, SEO web, isn't it kind of one, the same, or, or often I'll talk to a business owner and they say, well, my web designer is doing my, my, my SEO. 
Uh, well, that's great. The problem is your website is on page six. Why is that? Well, it turns out that what Google is looking for, Google can't see your website. And so the fact that you've got a beautiful website may not correlate to a high ranking. So one of the first things that you have to look at is look at your website and you have to look at it through the eyes of what does a search engine see? And it's very different than what a human sees. Now, you have to be careful because if you make it only so a machine can, can, can understand your website, it's not going to be maybe user friendly. And then someone will come to your site because you are now ranking on page one, but they're going to be confused and they're going to leave. And that's not good either. So we, we work with our customers on conversion. It's a very important part of our process. Um, but um, this is why working with a, with a consultant that understands how Google thinks is so important. So tell us a little bit about the agency. What's the history of the agency? How did you found? You're the founder. It's a great. Of the I am. I am. That's right. Um, yeah. It's a. You know. Really. It's uh, as as you as you read in the uh, in the introduction there. It's as simple as my background is. I've spent uh, really more than twenty years uh, building primarily technology businesses, software, consumer electronics. And um, I, uh, of course, uh, as a part of that, have been very involved in, in building online presence, social media presence. And as I looked at, um, you know, what the uh, what, what both the opportunities are and the needs are, uh, it became really clear to me that um, it's an area of, of real, uh, I, I can really have serious impact to a local business owner where bringing in, um, in some cases, even what may sound like a small number, but an extra 20 calls a week or 25, um, you know, web form signups or whatever the main mechanism is, mm -hmm. um, that that can be extremely meaning, meaningful. And I'm assuming that a lot of my, um, you know, my peers in the chamber, there's probably many business owners that say, I would love to have 20 more calls a week. That would be awesome. You know, if you know you're closing, you know, 10, 15 percent, um, guess what? That's an extra two or three deals every week. For some of us, that's very meaningful. And um, so, you know, really the genesis of the agency was to take what I knew from sort of, uh, you know, let's just call it generically the, 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 the bigger corporate world, even the startup, the high technology world, and applying that to local business where, frankly, it's really rewarding, you know, to see somebody's business tangibly impacted in a way that is um, a little bit more immediate. And that's what I really enjoy. So tell us a little bit about um, some of the people that you've helped so far. So that's right. So um, you know, uh, roofers, um, uh, uh, attorneys. Um, we find that there are there are particular. Uh, you know, we re we refer to them as as niches, but there are certain markets that are already investing heavily in advertising, where optimizing their online presence can provide a really tremendous return. So those are typically um, uh, lawyers. So anybody in the legal service. Um, those are dentists, those are doctors, those are anyone where the value of a customer is sufficiently high that again, to go back to even my simple analogy, if, if, if winning an extra two paying customers a week or maybe even a month in some businesses is meaningful, then um, that's where search engine optimization is really, um, uh, you know, it can be sort of rocket fuel, you know, in terms of profits and revenues. So... You know, as a small business owner, we, you know, there's tons of us out there. We're all out there. We're making our way. We're scraping them. That's by. right. We got to make those choices, those marketing choices. Yeah. What am I thinking that I'm going to go, hey, I could buy this ad in the newspaper or maybe I could put that money towards the SEO. Yeah, guy. that's a that's a that's a great question. And, and in every case, uh, because let's face it, if 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 you don't have the budget today for advertising, um, or if, if um, you know, you're choosing not to invest in advertising, then it might be a little bit of a stretch to suddenly say, okay, I, I, I'm not investing in advertising, but I will invest in SEO. So 100% uh, of my clients are already investing in some form of marketing and advertising. Now, some, because they have maybe, maybe medium-sized budgets, not necessarily large, I'm dealing with smaller, you know, smaller local businesses. Um, you know, those may not be huge. You don't have to be spending ten, twenty thousand dollars a month, but you probably need to be spending a couple thousand dollars a month on advertising. But the conversation always is okay. So if I'm going to shift, 
you know, uh, a couple thousand dollars a month from where I'm spending somewhere else and I'm going to shift it to SEO. Uh, what's the return on investment? The beautiful part is, is that SEO has a return on investment that's trackable, whereas in every other form of advertising, it's not trackable. And yes, in some direct forms, you, you know, you can maybe track coupons or, you, you know, there's, you, you can do some tracking, but generally speaking, you're spending money, you're putting a billboard up, you're sponsoring a bus seat, you're, you know, whatever the mechanism is, and you just feel that it's working mm -hmm. or you feel that it's not. The beautiful part about SEO is because it's going to drive a click on your website. All of that is trackable. And, and, and then furthermore, from a phone call, then often maybe that's even a, a dedicated phone line that maybe is coming in from even a, a, a number that's special so that you can track, hey, how many calls am I getting off the website? And so that's the beautiful part. It's very, very trackable. And we have some amazing statistics on, you know, um, how it really relates. But we can maybe get to that. So... You know, there's a lot of people out there that talk SEO. You see banners for SEO. You That's see right. advertisements for SEO. You see commercials for SEO That's out right. there. What is it that sets your agency apart? How does the typical client, you know, get a different experience through your agency? Great, 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 great question. So um, first of all, I'll start by, because it is important to understand the different flavors. Um, SEO, uh, you're absolutely right, Bob. It's, uh, it, you know, it seems almost like everybody, you know, um, who knows a little bit about the internet is an SEO consultant. And, uh, and so it's important to know the flavors. So they usually fall into three camps. One is the individual, um, solo, solo consultant. So this could be somebody who maybe is a web designer comes, comes from an internet background who said, you know, I just really am drawn to, to the discipline and to the, I, I, I like figuring out how to get someone to rank higher on Google. That's sort of my thing. There are other others that might be interested in the web design side of it, but we're focusing on SEO. So these are the individual consultants. Um, they can be highly effective if they have, you know, real strong skills in the area. Um, frankly, sometimes they get called in for, um, you know, to do some heavy lifting and to do some, uh, you know, these are people that really know how to get a website that maybe has been penalized by Google and how to get it back, uh, you know, ranking again. Uh, so so uh, that's an individual consultant. The second type is, uh, you know, maybe a boutique agency. So this is maybe two, three people, maybe five people, you know, could be 10 people. The point is a small agency and they usually focus more on a soup to nuts digital marketing. So they can run a pay-per-click campaign. They can run email marketing campaign. They can run SEO. They sort of, you tell them what you need and they're going to, they're going to give you a proposal. Again, not to say they're not capable to do SEO, but they're sort of spread wide, okay? You'll get very personal service with them. And again, not to say that they can't do a good job with SEO, but it's a different, it's a, it's a different thing. And then there's the big agencies. And the big agencies, a lot of local business owners are, are frankly maybe intimidated or afraid of um, because often the prices are going to be higher. Um, now, they can deliver a very, very high service. Uh, they, 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 they can do a good job as well. My agency is different in that I fit in the sort of in between the, the, the solo consultant and the boutique. And that is to say that um, I offer very, very high end ability in the area of search engine optimization. Um, but I, I, I tend to treat my clients more more like a more like a boutique agency. Um, but we don't offer soup to nuts. So, uh, I don't, I don't say, Hey, I'll run a pay-per-click campaign. Hey, I'll do an email marketing. It's all about driving results on Google search because I believe very firmly and I have the evidence and the data to back it up that it, it, it returns the highest ROI. Eight out of 10. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And, and we can, you know, maybe on another episode, which I think we actually have planned, um, you know, we'll talk about the benefits of SEO versus pay-per-click mm -hmm. um, because a lot of business owners are investing in pay-per-click. And again, that can be a, a black hole that um, you, you, you think it's working, but. Uh, <laughs> so I want to get started with you know, looking at SEO more deeply, yes. I want to set up a consultation. How do I get yeah. hold of you? Yeah. So you can go to our website. Our website is SEO Ranker Agency. 
dot com uh, SEO ranker agency dot com and we actually um, we've got a, a free in fact you can get a, a, a completely free analysis of your website um, there actually is a very clear link to click on there it says free SEO audit uh, you simply click on that you just give us a URL and in about oh, I think it's 75 seconds um, I have a tool that will do an analysis of your site send you a report completely no obligation in fact if you took this report and you gave it to your webmaster or if you are your webmaster and you implemented some of the things, um, you would see a very, very quick correlation to a rankings improvement. So it's very useful. But that's an excellent way to initially engage. And then um, if you look at that and you say, hey, but I you know, want to do more or I don't know what to do with this information, mm -hmm. um, then we can set up a conversation and, and talk about what your goals are. Um, we have a process that we walk all of our clients through. And that is first, I want to understand it's really not much different than a doctor. You know, when you go to the doctor, you, you don't just say I'm sick and then they prescribe something. They ask a series of questions and they want to understand your background because they want to give you the best, um, you know, the best care. So we say we walk through a process. We call it a discovery process. We want to understand what your goals are, what your needs are. Um, there's, there's some very specific things about your website that we need to know and then we can uh, discuss whether SEO is is best for you or not it isn't always in fact um, I would say that you know maybe one out of four um, business owners that I talk to I end up advising that another form of advertising or marketing might be better for them in some cases they're shocked you know you don't want to take my money but uh, no we want to do what's best for our clients or, or prospective clients cool well Mark um, I want to Thank you very much for coming in today and kind of spending time with us. Absolutely. Thank you. And I think we're going to see you again in March, if I remember I, I think February, I think March. February, March. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll make this a somewhat regular occurrence. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll get into a little bit deeper into some ECO stuff then. But right. um, for now, again, this is the uh, Inside Business Mesa Chamber podcast sponsored by Tennyson Investments. I'd like to thank uh, Mark Donegan with the uh, SEO Ranker Agency for joining us today. Thank Thank you, Mark. Thank you. And um, you can, as always, uh, learn more about episodes of the podcast by visiting the Mesa Chamber website at mesachamber.org. And you can subscribe to this podcast uh, not only through iTunes, but through every other podcast subscription service that exists. So thank you again, everybody, for joining us. And we'll look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks with another episode of the Mesa Chamber podcast.